Hi, thanks for connecting to thatcable.com. We're always here to help. Welcome to this video by thatcable.com. Today we are showing you our HDMI IR adapters. The purpose of this video is to show how any HDMI enabled device can be used with these HD IR adapters to be controlled from a distance. So, For example, you see a TV here with a skybox. The TV could be in an upstairs room and the skybox could be in a cupboard somewhere else and we'd still be able to remotely control it. Here is a picture showing everything you receive when you buy our pack. It's got on the top left an IR receiver, it's got the IR adapters in the middle and on the bottom right uh, a device labeled TX which is an emitter so that is the device which sits in front of your skybox to be able to control it. The receiver received the si receives the signals from your skybox remote control um, the adapters relay that signal on and the emitter sends a signal at your skybox uh, to be able to control it. Uh, we recommend the use of uh, HDMI cables that are no longer than 10 metres in length because attenuation can, ha can happen over this sort of distance. Try and reduce the number of adapters you use because they can also affect it. So try and have a direct connection if you can. Just showing a close up here of an IR adapter. It's got a switch for IR and CEC, always use it in the IR mode. Uh, I'm just showing now a picture of the TX. This is the emitter and this is the device which sits in front of your skybox and will fire the remote control signals. And coming up next is the receiver. This is labelled RX and this will sit with you and your TV and this is what you'll point your remote control at to be able to control your skybox from a distance. We've got the skybox now, and as you can see on the front of the skybox, there is a circle just pointing at it, and in, in the middle of that circle, there is the IR receiver where your emitter will point at to be able to control it. Um, and going towards the back of the skybox now, you can see where the HDMI cable is plugged in. To use the IR adapters with this skybox, you simply unplug the HDMI cable and plug the IR adapter in, like has just been shown and then plug the emitter into the side of the IR adapter and place it in front of the skybox. On the back of the emitter there, as you saw, you can actually stick it down if you'd like to with the sticky pads provided. We can't do in this example because it's not a fixed installation, the skybox is in top of this box. But if you had it in a cupboard, you'd fine tune it and get it in the right position and then you'd stick it down. Uh, you can see the HDMI cable here, it runs out the back of your skybox, it goes up the wall into another IR adapter like the one you just see on the back of the skybox and into the HDMI port on the side of the TV. For this example we're going to allow the IR receiver cable to dangle down um, and it's going to go into a plastic box so it is out of sight of the skybox and we're going to use a remote control within the plastic box. Just doing a close up now so you can see the IR adapter that's the same at both ends like we've just said. So here we have the plastic box, uh, the IR receiver will be put inside uh, this plastic box now and the remote control will be used and we'll press some, uh, some channels on it to make the cursor on the, the sky screen go across. You can see someone there, there's, it takes two people to set it up, well it's always best if you have two people. There's somebody holding the TX, um, which is the emitter, in front of the sky box, about one and a half inches where we found was the best and most responsive and there's somebody just pressing the sky remote at the receiver and as you can see the, the cursor will now move along um, nicely at the top of the screen. We're just going to fine tune it a bit more so we get, you'll find when you're doing it yourselves you get the, the correct sweet spot with the emitter uh, and then all of a sudden the sky box will kick into action and you can start seeing it um, you, you'll be able to control it from a distance. These devices can also be used with HDMI splitters too I'm just showing you the front there, the LED eye, you can sometimes put some masking tape over it and this makes this IR receiver more responsive uh, because a lot of the new TVs throw a lot of interference into the room. Uh, we're just showing you now just a quick setup, you just put the IR adapters on both ends of the HDMI cable and plug the emitter and the receiver into the sides of these IR adapters. It doesn't matter which end the IR adapters go at, they just both need to have, be set on the IR function. It matters that the emitter, obviously the TX, is at the skybox end and the receiver is at the, the TV end. Um, 
and be careful where you position everything. As I say, you can look at our, uh, our video on HDMI splitters where you can see these devices being used with HDMI splitters. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us. Um, we might always make a video to, to show how to do something um, to make it easier for you to be able to set up your HD equipment.